instructional video series for the JumboTrack Tilt-Up Frame System. Identify and separate the components of the frame system on the ground. Group similar items together. Square your installation location. For more information on squaring, please see the product manual. Mark the locations of each base plate on the ground using paint or chalk. Position all the standard base plates on these marks and drive the anchor stakes. Move the staged beam components to their approximate location on the ground. Begin assembling the beam arches. You'll want to start at one base plate. Connect the leg. Connect the eave fitting to that leg. Then work your way up and over the ridge of the tent connecting the rafter beams, the ridge fitting, the other rafter beam, the other eave fitting, and finally connecting the other leg to the base plate. Install the braces at all intermediate leg connections and all intermediate ridge connections. Install the assembly cables. Connect all wall and roof cables at this time so they're easy to reach while you're on the ground. Begin tilting up beams. Start with the second arch in your series use the ridge purlin to help push the beam vertical. Once the legs are vertical, use the wall cables to secure to the opposing base plate in location. Install and pin the eave purlins into location. Connect the shackles at the base plate, securing the leg into location. Now push up the end beam arch. Using the purlin tool, raise the ridge purlin and connect to the gable end fitting. Now lift and connect the eave purlins into location and pin into place. You can now install the roof cables and wall cables into this end bay. Connect the eave purlins to the next bay and pin into location. The ridge purlin is pinned on the ground and is used to help push up the beam. Continue tilting up the balance of your beam arches and connect purlins as you go. Tilt up your final gable end beam arch and secure eave and ridge purlins. After this bay is installed, you can connect the roof and wall cables for this last bay. Connect and install the gable eave purlins.
once all the gable eave purlins are installed. Anchor the gable base plates with the stakes. Pull your gable end fabric into the channel and pull towards the center of the gable end. Pull the other half of the gable end fabric into the beam. Once the two panels meet in the center, secure the connection with the Velcro. Using the optional JumboTrack Keter feeder system, remove the shackle from the eave fitting and install the JumboTrack Keter feeder onto the fitting. Use the thumb screw to secure it into place. Tie the optional pull ropes to the web strap underneath the eave of the roof panel. Insert the keytered edges of the panel into the JumboTrack feeder assembly. Using the pull ropes, pull the panel through the beams. A uniform pulling method will work best in pulling the roof panels through the channels. Pass the O-ring through the D-ring of the opposing panel and pull down towards the base plate. Connect the hook end of the ratchet tension assembly to these rings. The web strap will be connected to the base plate and fed into the ratchet mechanism. Tighten this connection at this time. You can now tighten your wall cross cables and the roof cross cables at each end bay. These cables will help keep the structure secure and square. Install the midspan tensioners at each midpoint of each roof panel. Now install your external wind guides and drive the anchor stakes into the ground. To install the walls, Insert the keytered edge of the wall section into the leg beam and pull upward. The top of the wall feeds into the eave channel with small keter strips. Slide these towards the center of the bay opening. Once both halves of the wall are installed, you can lace or zip them together. In this illustration, we're showing the connection with a lace method. When you get to the bottom, simply tie off the lace with an overhand knot. From the bottom upward, be sure to connect your side release plastic buckles as you go. Your JumboTrack tilt-up frame system is now installed.